Uh, Modesta sits down. Uh, these are not my questions. I want to make it clear to you. These are not my questions. So when you when you come to attack me, you are not attacking me. You are attacking these people who are asking you these questions. And these are uh, questions from my subscribers. And uh, some of my subscribers are also your subscribers. And you don't know where these questions are coming from. It might be coming from your donor. You don't know that. They are asking these questions. Eh? And uh, before I can continue, you attacked us. You know what happens, Modesta, when you attack us. Eh? You know... You know what really happens and i don't know why you still insist on calling us names and insulting us hmm? you and your lazy gang members we are just a few of us but you're still attacking us do you know why you're attacking us modesta hmm? do you know why you're attacking us it's because where your iq is ending that's where ours is beginning so you can do the math yourself huh? so, <laughs> but anyway huh? uh my subscribers who are also your subscribers i believe so they are asking me why don't you want to talk about your your village hmm? you have never mentioned any your village what happens what is it that we don't know that we must know about your village what is it that you, you are hiding about your village hmm? even you are an at least i know you are an igbo you are from an igbo community and uh, why don't you want to extend any help from your own village why don't you want to help a needy child in your home village i know there's a needy child who needs your help in your home village there's a needy family extremely needy family and inside the reports has it that uh, there's a family that has been attacked by jiga infestation you know guys do you know what jiga infestation jiga's infestation are very they can torment your life yet you are here why have you why don't you want to mention anything about your village or your yeah, your, your community. Why don't you want to extend any help in your own community? Why Nyabohansi? Why Nyabohansi? Out of all the towns in Kenya, why Nyabohansi and not any other place in Kenya? And needless to say, why are you even um, sponsoring or helping someone who is not even considered a needy? Since I believe when you have a job, land, and you have a uh, vegetation, you are not even paying rent you have a place to see i don't consider that person as poor actually as a person living in kibra is envying what that person has mm? you need to come forward with this with these uh with these questions and you when you attack us just to just to caution you when you attack us you know you are attacking these people who are asking these questions and you don't know who are asking these questions they want to remain anonymous mm? you know that still we are still on max case unless the definition of poverty has changed because if you have land if you have a house if you have vegetation you're not paying rent on top of that you have you are working at the county government and you're still considered poor hey those are very tough instructions Hey, Modesta. Hey, I mean, someone who has all these you can, is still considered poor. What about someone who doesn't have any of those? Someone in Kibera right now is looking at Mark's life and is wishing that he has what Max has. Hmm? So, and and you know, we are we are just asking these questions. We are not jealous in any way. We we just uh, we just don't want. We want uh, honesty and clarity. Hmm? There's also another subscriber who asked you this question that uh, you are fostering donations in Nyabohanze or you are spearheading these donations in Nyabohanze through your donors and one of them is called Fruits. Yet when Marwa does the same thing or Nyabohanze boys or anyone in Nyabohanze boy or anyone in Nyabohanze do the same thing, you are branding them as beggars. What's, what's different that you are doing that they are not doing? Hmm? because literally you're also spearheading donations or you want to be the ones the way i'm looking at it modesta wants to be the one who will be fostering these donations that's why she was making these transactions public you know transactions between uh, her max and fruits you remember the hundred dollar that was that was used to send to max she was making these 
transactions public. Why is that? Because she's trying to buy what you call trust from the donors. She's trying to present herself as a trustworthy person. You know, guys, I'm, I'm a good person. Believe in me. Start. Start. You know, and and uh, Max here is a vessel. She's he's the one who will always be the one doing all these projects. And number one project is what? A toilet. So prepare for the next project every any any time soon and it will be coming from Modesta. And my my this takes me back from my first video. The issue has always been donation. It has always been the money. Hmm? There is also another subscriber who asked. Actually, it was not a question. It was a statement. She said that uh, Modesta, Modesta, she has a real job, and she can survive without YouTube. Well, I don't know about that because from the video that I have, she's saying a complete different thing, and she also said herself that she's a career woman and uh, she doesn't need youtube to survive she can just go to the atm she can be getting her salary and will be going to the atm and you know and uh, she will be having her income flowing inside her account without the need for youtube so i will not say anything about that i just want you to watch this video and then we can all we can be able to draw our verdict from there just watch it some of here and somebody will be asking, what are you doing? I thought you said you are a nurse. What are you doing here on the white team? Why can't you go and be looking after? You don't have to depend on one stream of income. That is the lesson here, guys. You have to look at other means that you can survive. You cannot just settle for less or depend on one source of income. One source of income these days doesn't take us to anywhere. So you got those cars and the scars will so we have all heard from the horse's mouth this is not coming from my mouth it is it is becoming it is coming from her and i know she said that we need to be picking up videos from her channel and to be talking about which i've done but i will not be doing that anytime because i don't have that luxury of time yeah i'll be, though i'll be picking what you've said in my mind and coming out and say it here and i cannot lie i'm not a cartoon i'm not a liar to say something different that you said no I don't do that but this one I had to say it okay so that that uh, subscriber who was making that statement does that ask answer you answer your statement since it was not a question and there is absolutely nothing wrong with uh, supplementing your income right what what we are against is is destroying or character assassinating another person brand so that you can build yours you know what was really aching marwa is that you have successfully built your own channel using his name if you have not if you have not built your, your channel using his name be in your next video come and stand up be the first one to cast a stone or even come with a bible and say you know i have not made any money in this in this youtube using marwa's name then we can believe you hmm? don't character assassinate someone even if you have to correct someone correct someone constructively and give them time like I mean how he said give them time to 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 improve on yourself but suffocating someone with the negative comments all the time all the time that makes you malicious person and by the way mean how is she's going to the village she's returning back to nyabohanze so relax yeah, relax it's it's not going to be as intense don't worry maybe you are shaking somewhere oh my god <laughs> conclusively i want to say thank you so much thank you so much for those people who have just subscribed and uh, for all the returning subscribers i want also to say thank you and uh, the community indeed is really really growing and you know this is just a reaction video and uh and along the way you know i i also try as much as possible to create awareness and also to teach something i have no personal hate for anyone i have no envy for anyone even modesta i don't hate modesta you know yeah even the fight is, is that that uh, we are just responding uh to what they tell us because if you return fire you're also going to return fire if you return insults you're also going to return insults we are just responding but all in all i i, I don't i don't think that I, I have any hate against modesta it's just that uh, we have to react on what they say
Mm? We have to react. We have to correct you, Modesta, on what you say, whether you like it or not. And we are going to ask you questions. Okay.